Hey YouTube, it's the Test Lead, and today's video is about test management tools, in particular, Jira. Before any application can be deployed to an end user, it must be tested first. But how will you measure these testing efforts and keep track of everything that's going on in the testing cycle? Here comes Jira. This video will talk about high level, what is Jira, and then the pros and cons of using Jira. So first off, what is Jira? Jira was developed by a software company from Australia called Alasian. Jira is a test management tool that is used to track issues as well as manage projects. Today, Jira is mostly used by companies and teams that practice agile methodology, and Jira has evolved greatly over the years as a strong test management tool for things such as use cases, requirements, and test case management. When you first log on to Jira, you can be shown any of the team's items that belong to you. You can also create custom dashboards in Jira to display information the way that will help you the best. This includes items such as charts or a to-do list so you can clearly view the most important information to you and your team right away. Maybe your team has a problem managing bugs. You can place that front and center to view daily right away. The heart of Jira is issues. Issues could be anything from simple tasks, defects in software, and new features or requirements. You can track the status of any of these items throughout the workflow in Jira. Issues contain large amounts of relevant information such as description, environment, and linked issues. Jira also gives users the ability to customize the workflow designs for their teams. These workflows should be how everything takes place for your team. The entire team should have access to Jira, that way they can link to different issues and other items in Jira. This allows for better responsibility tracking. So if you're trying to see the status of something, you can see who it's assigned to and ask them like, hey, what's going on with this? You also get a nice history of the task or item in Jira. So you can see when it was created, when it was changed, who it was assigned to. If it's a bug, who the assignee and reporter are, any details related to the item, and attach items such as images to it. Jira also offers its own query language called JQL. With JQL, you can properly show subqueries of different types of information from your team's efforts. These JQL queries can then be saved and be used as filters for later searches. These filters and queries can also be shared to anyone else on a team who has access to Jira. So let's say you create this wonderful query that shows all outstanding defects you can share it to the other team members so they don't have to remake the query on their own. Also available in Jira Cloud is the roadmap option. This is how many agile teams plan out their sprints, timelines, and dependencies on epics or user stories. This helps create a visual for the outlook of a team sprint. And finally, Jira offers hundreds of add-ons to help enhance your Jira experience while using the application. This is all part of the plugin manager an Alasian marketplace that works seamlessly with Jira, many of which offer free trials. Let's say you need a certain plugin and can't find it in the marketplace, you can actually write your own using REST API and Java. And now finally, the pros and cons of using Jira. First, the pros. Meets the needs of tracking bugs and defects. As I said previously, it has a large community as well as marketplace that you can have add-ons to your Jira application to help your experience and meet your needs. You can create queries using JQL to show different subsections of information. You can have a customized dashboard. Let's say you want to sign on and see all the tasks assigned to you first, or your to-do list, or how the current sprint is going. You can customize your dashboard to show what's important to you. It allows you to maintain communication throughout your team. You can see what everyone on your team is currently working on and what's still outstanding for the current sprint. They have a free version for smaller teams, and finally, backlog management, velocity tracking and planning, and a reporting system. And finally, the cons, because nothing's perfect, it has a hard learning curve for some users and can be overwhelming at some times. Integrating a full suite, because there's so many different features of Jira, can be difficult to set up. And as I said previously, you can code your own add-ons, but manuals on how to set this up isn't readily available. You have to go searching for how to properly do this. So if you're a hardcore coder, and want to create custom builds, you have to try to figure this out on your own sometimes. 
And now to wrap it up, Jira is a wonderful test management tool. There are hundreds of videos out there to go further in detail about Jira. This is just high level of what Jira is and some of the pros and cons. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want another video just like this, please click here. And hey, don't forget to learn something new today.